grace and peace to you. Today, I would like to share something with you guys. Uh, how could you be a living sacrifice pleasing to God? What that's supposed to mean? What's What does Romans chapter 12 verse 1 mean? And a lot of people think that that doing it as you know um, forcing yourself to not say stuff like that because you're not a Christian blah, blah 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 like I'm a Christian I'm a Christian you know but that's not the case um, you have to do it voluntarily you have to give yourself as a human sacrifice pleasing for God what it means is that we cannot slander, we cannot say bad words, we cannot watch pornography or or doing um, maybe adultery or anything else, you know. We have to understand that we have to give ourselves as a living sacrifice. And a lot of people don't understand that, you know. But what I need to tell you guys is that it has to come to your heart. You have to have the spirit in you to order yourself to become a little bit more respected to God's will. Now, we don't know what's God's will. It's all, it's all up to Him. But you'll see your changes. You'll stop doing slandering. You will stop doing um, the things that you have done in the past. Are now gone but now when you start reading the chapters in the Bible you start to realize that I have to become a living sacrifice to God and not literally but in a spiritual sort of way that your body that you have here is a dead body this body does not does not sustain any more life because that body, this body that we have here, it's going to die. No matter what. We're all going to have, we're all going to die 110%. <laughs> but we have to realize that there's another thing coming. And that coming is Jesus Christ. Our Lord is coming to save us. God is coming. And he said, I don't know when he's coming. He's coming maybe today, tomorrow, this very minute, or he is coming a hundred or, or a thousand years from now. But we have to have the hope and the faith and believe that we have to be prepared to offer ourselves as a living sacrifice to God. That we are cleansed, that we are saved. That this body does not mean nothing to us. We understand as we are Christians that we have to present ourselves as a living sacrifice. Just like in the scriptures, what it says, and, is, and, and it reads, Therefore I urge you, urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not confront, confirm to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. He's good, pleasing, and perfect will. That's what it means. That we have to rely on God and to see what is pure. Because once we become into a spiritual body that we have spiritually got saved and reborn again, we understand and we're going to be living sacrifices. Everything is going to be changed. Everything. Not now. Maybe maybe you stop 
smoking or you stop drinking heavily, you know, but smoking completely, dude, don't, don't smoke. That's awful. It's a very bad habit. I used to be one of them. Drinking, you're going to stop fornicating. You're going to stop watching pornography. You're going to watch, you're going to stop watching, uh, 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 Rated R movies. You're going to start thinking good things about yourself. Very good things. You're going to start pursuing God. How cool is that? You're pursuing Jesus Christ. You're trying, he, he's, he's, you're trying to walk like Jesus. You're walking every day. But we know that this body is a sinning body. We sin. We probably look at a girl in the wrong way. We probably look at other different things that it might damage and poison or rot in our minds. Or we look at um, movies that doesn't incorporate anything good. You know? Um, look at our social media and look at uh, Instagram. Or Facebook and we see other different women with bikinis and all that stuff. You honestly like things are going to start changing. And when you see stuff like that, you're going to repent yourself. You're going to feel that, you know what? I was wrong. I saw that. Forgive me, Father. You're not going to have no doubts. You're going to change yourself. Drinking. Maybe a glass of wine. You're fine. I don't mind having a nice, you know, nice glass of pure, uh, you know, a nice little shot of pure malt, you know, um, whiskey. But that doesn't mean I'm going to be a drunkard, you know, or getting really drunk. You know, everybody deserves to have, you know, their different attributes of having a nice, you know, sinful, but we are sinning ways in our lives we're not perfectly made but we're getting there every day we have to change ourselves and i think with prayer and reading the gospel and going to um men's group we go to different uh um uh, uh places that rely on relate uh, of uh, worship bible study reunite with our congregation. Um, I always say to you guys, I go to a church. Don't let no one tell you that you don't need church. You have to go to church. It's in the gospel. It's in the Bible. It says that, that we have to present ourselves in the church. We have to worship God. We have to carry our cross every day. We have to. There's no doubt about it. We have to carry our cross. Um, but all these programs, they have couples cl uh, couples groups. We have different things in, in, in church, you know, that it could provide a lot of information. Um, but you have to find a gr good church. Not... I cannot tell you, oh, go find yourself a church because it's not right. I can only promote the church that I go to. And the per the church that I go to is called Emmanuel Reformed Church. It's in Paramount, California. It's a very good church with a very good set of theology, hands down. And it is stacked with grace over grace over grace. On top of grace, on top of grace. I implore you, if you live in the LA area, please come to Emmanuel Reformed Church. This is a church with a top-notch theology. We are Reformed, and for me, I am a Calvinist, and um, I, I would love to invite you. So... I invite you to come to Emmanuel Reformed Church. You can just Google it and you will see it. It's in the website is erc.com. So go ahead, check it out. And um, 
I hope I see you there. Because I think that's that's the only way I could do is that I cannot promote any church and say, hey, go to church. <laughs> but which church? Well, I'm telling you right now, go to Emmanuel Reformed Church if you live in, in Los Angeles County. All right, guys? I'll see you. And um, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us and always with us. And may us, let us be guided by the hand that is so holy, that is God. And be comforted by the power of the Lord Savior Jesus Christ. I'll see you guys.